Hi, my name is Asad Irfan and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Mininet in your computer. Now just a brief introduction about Mininet. It's basically a network emulator and uh, it's uh, most probably uh, it's used in the uh, SDN platform for the emulation of uh, switches and uh, controllers that uh, you have to separately download although it comes along with a separate uh, uh, like built-in remote controller and you will probably find it on the address 127.0.0.1 um, but although you have options like talk, slot light etc but let's uh, stop going with that stuff and just go right in to how should we download first of all mininet now most probably you are watching this video because you are not very much familiar about this SDN stuff so I will go right onto the official website of mininet mininet dot mininet.org and you can go straight to the download so okay now here when you come to the download option you have several options of how you can install now there is the first option that you can use the mininet vm installation which is basically a virtual image and it's built on Ubuntu 14.04 or 14.01 I think so there is other options if you are on Linux you can do the native installation from source so in that case you have to download the code from the git repository github repository and then you have to clone that directory and just install the software uh, if you are on Linux then this is probably the most easiest step that you can take uh, probably I will be recording videos uh, in which I will be mostly focusing on directly running it uh, from uh, installing it on Linux and running it from there and you can install it from packages etc uh, because it's m basically built on uh, Linux lightweight virtualization so let us download the VM image and here it's the latest version that has been uploaded so far and for Windows recommended for Windows users so this is the one you have to download okay for most hardware they say 64 bit but uh, I have used and worked with this Ubuntu 14.04 and it works uh, pretty good so I'm um, it's about uh, I think like two gigs or like somewhat like oh okay it's one gig okay now I have downloaded it now when you will download it uh, you will get uh, basically a zip file format now once you extract the zip folder uh, you will get uh, these files now here are the files present you will get uh, mininet server and a v mininet v mdk now once you extract it and got these two files you have to go to open virtual box now if you don't know what virtual box is you have to you actually need this software simply type on google download virtual box and uh, download the most latest version that's available so far don't go yes this one wiki slash downloads and from here you can simply download uh, it for the windows health okay so virtual box for windows health x86 md64 and if you are like interested in some older sort of version you can go along with it these are basically extension packs which we basically don't need now what is a virtual box is exactly almost the same thing with uh, like mininet but virtual box uses OS virtualization and uh, mininet uses network virtualization it's basically a network emulator now one key difference that I want to like point out here is the basic difference between an emulator and a simulator a network emulator closely resembles actual hardware results that you will get in your final product and in simulator is basically just like it just simulates this the stuff that you want to do so although I have the uh, uh, one already running but I will create a new one and let me name it mininet uh, for YouTube let's suppose for YouTube and keep it open to 32 bit because uh, as you know the option that we selected here was about 32 bit and basically mininet is Linux as I you can see that I chose Ubuntu 32 bit because uh, uh, but you ha they have actually removed the graphical interface from it 
the base memory is 512 MB. I am creating a virtual machine. Now, here comes the main part. Instead of creating a virtual hard drive, I will be using an ex uh, already existing hard drive. So, where you extracted those folders, you will find mini Minet VM i386. i386 indicates that you are using an x86 base version. Uh, click on it and press open Try create the recommended size 8 GB and here you got mini net for YouTube Now one important step that you shouldn't forget here is that go to the settings uh, In the settings go to the network click on adapter to enable network adapter and go to host only adapter and make sure that here everything is LL all cable connected make but just make these settings like I have done so here otherwise you will face extreme difficulty in running Minimeter on your computer device so here it's running now I will probably SSH it and there are a few other things that you need to know if you are a Windows user because on Linux and especially on Macintosh working with it is especially easy so it will take some time okay so the username or basically the login is minimet you type it simply and press enter and the password is again minimet so here is my ubuntu linux running so before going into some basic commands of linux because it's basically a linux system and it's not minimet it's Ubuntu okay you have to access Minimet from this Ubuntu system so before going uh, into much detail I would uh, or actually I will be going into the detail uh, I want to point out your attention towards some other thing you need a uh, software xming and along with that putty.exe so although you can find it on uh, open tutorial if you type this on Google they will move you to this go to the site here installing record software and from here there are some important things that are really necessary although they have older version I think so for Windows 7 one software was virtual box which I told you how to install actually you should be and along with that you have to install xmin and similarly putty.exe now for putty.exe there is one important thing that you need to know let me cancel it before it gets downloaded once you have downloaded putty.exe you have to open your cmd in windows and you have to see where your cmd is looking so my cmd is looking at users and in the sl find directory which is obviously my name so what i have to do is to copy let me download putty and show you how it works so okay it's downloaded let me open the folder you have to copy it and you have to paste it right in the location where your cmd is looking right so it's c then it's uh, users then it's sl font and you can see that i have already pasted it here so i'm not going to paste it again okay once it's done you have to start xming which you the um, I, I told you to install it in your server of a uh, computer after and start downloading it so i type here xming xming will run in the background it will xming server 0, 0.0 that's great okay from your cmd uh, but before doing that let us come to our mini net and type sudo which basically gives you the administrative privileges because you can consider that I am basically at the Medinet account so I will be going into the root or administrative account in the Linux so now the root account in Linux is basically an administrative account which has the which is called a super user or it has the full control of the Linux system so I will type sudo and dh client which is basically which will assign you an IP address so that I can SSH from my host system and in this case my host system is Windows 7 and my guest system is Mininet and uh, but before doing that let me just type a config which will show me the all the network interfaces that are installed in my system 
so you can see that I have one with the name ES0 and the other is L0 now ES0 is the interface that I just you once you saw that I enable the second uh, network adapter and in the second network adapter I enable the host only option so this is basically that interface and it has been assigned an IP address 10.0.2.15 and there is one of them is basically miss, missing so I will do sudo it config minus a now this will this option is simply simply an option that shows me all the interface so you can see that one of them was missing so this is eth one and uh, i will be using actually this one because it has already been assigned an address so i will use this eth one interface you just can use anyone if that has broadcast multicast so what i have to do is sudo dh client c l i d n t sorry i'm poor at spell and eth one because this is the one i want to assign and press enter and that's it now there is so much stuff on the screen you can simply type clear press enter that's it now we have to ssh so this is the command that you have to use put in minus x minimet at and let me see the ip now so if config minus a so you see that the IP address that I have been assigned is 192.168.56.102. So 192.56.168.56.102. So Press enter. Great. Now if you, I am already used putty on my system. So if you, if you will run it on the first time, it will show you a sort of warning and show you like fingerprinting and this and that so just yes oh, click yes 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 and the password again is of this is basically this system so password is again M I N I N E T, which will not show you anything or log your typing just for the security and you you can type clear again and uh, just to see whether your system is running perfectly sudo mn which basically first i'm giving the command line privileges after that i am starting mininet and after the mini net command i am typing minus minus test and i hope it works if i have not forgotten the original code sudo mn that's it okay so this is the command that you can if this runs it, this basically means that your system is now perfectly running you added a network added a controller you added two hosts added a switch the link between to host and the switch basically there is one switch as one and two hosts are connected to that and you start the controller which you obviously can't see but you can type that and you can have a look this is the co controller i will you can watch my other videos in which i discussed uh, the basic minimum tutorial in detail i think that's enough for today's tutorial thank you very much subscribe for more videos